Hello everyone, my name is Yellow and welcome to the match that I had with Mr. Respawn. You might be thinking, wait, hold on, it's all sped up. And yes, there is a reason for that. I want to show you the very first match that I had with him here. So, I've sped everything up. All I'm going to show is his moves that he hit. And there's a reason behind this. I'll explain in a second because you'll be wondering, like, I, I don't understand what's going on here. So you can see, about the first minute or two of the match, he still hadn't even hit a move yet. I was all over him, you know. And he couldn't hit me at all. Uh, finally, he gets his first move. Here it is. You ready for it? Oh, a drop kick to the back. That was his first move. Now I sped it up again because, you know, back on the domination. This here is what you call domination. It's a combination of skill and concentration. And here, oh, wait. He's on move two now. He's on move two. Get ready for it. Oh. Boop. There it is. That's move two. Let's speed it up again now. And, uh... Yeah, this is because we played a total of four matches. I asked for a rematch after this match. That was his third move, a signature. I asked for a rematch after this one because in total he hit five moves. This is his fourth move and a finisher is going to come in a second after I speed this up a long, long way again. So I asked for a rematch because he only had five moves and got the win. I felt screwed. He kicked out and you'll see the pin bar in a second of how I lose. So that's for a rematch and we came to terms and I'll explain more in the actual match because we are running out of time in this match now because he's about to hit his finisher, his fifth move of the match. I'm not even hurt at all, I don't think, but he's hit a finisher and look at this pin ball. You ready for it? You ready? One, two, three. I don't know how I didn't kick out that. I really don't. But anyway, here is the match and I'll explain more in depth in the match. is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, from England, Reeds. Oh, the WWE Universe letting them hear it. Approaching the ring from England, the amazing H. Oh, I am ready for this. Alright, so here we are in our fourth match that we had. So the first match, you've seen it, it was all sped up, I completely dominated and he won a five moves. And I know in one of my videos I said I wouldn't accept rematches and all this stuff if there was lag. There was no lag at all throughout that match. I don't know how I lost and I didn't want to upload a video where I lose because of five moves. So we came to some terms because obviously, you know, people have asked me for a rematch before. So I decided, you know what, I've never asked for a rematch before and I got screwed in that match, completely screwed. I wouldn't have minded if it was a back and forth match and I lost, but no, not from five moves and that pin bar was ridiculous. So no, I asked for a rematch and we came to terms. He said, I will give you a rematch if you pin my car and... So I did. That's why there was an episode of Pin My Call with his call yesterday. So, you know, I accepted. I accepted. I even said to him, I'll make it best two out of three. You know, so if if I win the first match, we'll have to have a third decider match. And, you know, I didn't have to say that. I could have just left out the one rematch like he originally said and just pimped his call. But, you know, he graciously offered me a rematch. So I, I made a fair. I said, okay, I'll play a third match if I win the second one. So we played the second match and I won. 
and then we played the third match and there was lag during the pin, but I still won. So, you know, a lot of people, like when I faced uh, Jag, you know, I got screwed because of lag, just like he did. But, you know, he wasn't having any of it. He wouldn't give me a rematch or anything, even though I graciously gave him one. But, you know, he, Mr. Respawn, being a nice guy that he is, he accepted and wanted, like, you know, he said he'll give me a rematch, gave me the terms and everything. So, you know, he, he said there was lag during the pin, so I accepted another match, a fourth match, which is this match. So, you know, I've already won him twice, and the first match, uh, you know, wait, is that right? Yeah, I won him twice, and then the first match, you know, I got screwed, but I was completely dominating anyway. So now we're having this match. And the con do you know that bar that comes up during the match where it says, connection has been interrupted, please wait, and it tries to get you back in the match? That came up in this match about 20 times, not even over-exaggerating, but... I have clipped out every single time that has happened, so the match just looks smooth, because honestly, the match would be double the length if I kept in all the connection interrupted, please wait, things, so, you know, I've tried to edit it best I can, so that those don't come up, and honestly, I don't think you can tell at all, but there was no lag in the match, which is weird, because it was, like, perfect connection, really good connection, but the connection interrupted thing kept coming up, so, I don't know, I don't understand. Why that kept coming up. Like, it happened a lot. Like, literally, I'm not even over-exaggerating with the 20 times. It might have even been more than that. But, uh, yeah, this is this is our, our fourth match now. And, you know, he, he's done his, uh, his wake-up taunt. And I know that he doesn't actually have a wake-up taunt. He gets an instant signature, like what I do. So I was worried because he beat me the last time. He hasn't hurt me at all in this match so far. And I hit a finish. One, two, and he kicks out at two. I was like, all right, all right, that's fine. And this guy, I was aiming for the legs throughout all four matches I had with this guy, and his legs were super, super bulky. I don't know what was going on, but you know, after I uh, I checked his call, I realized he has moved the, the body, the, like, do you know how you can put the, the body uh, things on your car where it's like 25, 25, 25, 25 on the head, body, legs, and arms? He made the legs and head 35%. Uh, like, so it takes a lot of damage to hurt the head and legs. But his arms and body were both 15%, which is super, super weak. And, you know, a lot of moves, no matter how, how, uh, like, I am very, very focused on the legs, but a lot of moves still hurt the stomach and, like, chest region, just because that's how it is. So his body got red instantly. Like, it wasn't even tough at all. I was completely, uh, just owning up his stomach region. But, you know, it took a lot of work to take down these legs because they were super bulky. Which, uh, I am at a disadvantage at that. And that is, uh, a really good tactic. I wouldn't have thought of do that, you know. Like, especially against me, you know, because I am a leg uh, specialist. And now that I've said it, a lot of people are going to change their cars so their legs are super bulky when they face me. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going for a second finisher here. And, no! He reverses it! What the hell? No one reverses my finisher! And he did! And I reversed again! And I was like, oh my god, have I got a finisher back? No, I don't. He didn't go for a finisher. So now I know he used his wake-up taunt earlier, so he already had a finisher. And then he reversed mine. He has two finishers right now, and he's hardly hurt me at all. I don't think I'm injured yet. And, you know, he has two finishers. And I was like, oh my god, he can finish, he, he's still done hardly anything to me. And he could finish me off by just hitting those two finishers. So I was on super alert right now. I was trying my hardest to just keep him down. I was just praying, like, I've been beating him up for a while now. Just had a finisher. My momentum's still up. I can just keep beating him down, get a third finisher. I can do this, I can do this. And you'll see what happens in the match. You've just got to take in mind, he does have two finishers right now. And I'm working on that head, because at this point I still didn't know. But his head, pretty injured now, pretty injured. His legs are still yellow, but I've done a lot of work on them. There's no way I'm breaking his legs in this match. But, you know, I'm starting to turn it up. You know, I need, need a second signature. Well, a third signature it would be. I've already hit, I've hit a finisher. He reverses a second. I need a third. And, you know, I'm going back to those legs again. I'm thinking, why the hell is no damage, like, happening to his legs at all? And I get a signature. Like, this is it. This is it. This is the time. Come on. Yes! I can do this. Even though he's got two finishes, he hasn't been able to hit me at all since he reversed mine. Like, so long ago in the match. Over two minutes ago now. And his head is orange. His stomach is red. His legs are yellow. And I was about to go for a wake-up taunt. But no, he gets up. Spinebuster him down when he tries to run at me. This is it. Wake him up. I am done.
I am done. Let's hit this. And here we go. The fourth match. We had a fourth finish and I will spot it now. I do get the win off this pin. So thank you so much for the rematch. A lot of people wouldn't have done it, but I do feel it was fair. I beat you three times in a row and that first match I was completely dominating. So thank you for the rematch. You were a great guy to play. And yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out the video I did of Pimmin Out's Mr. Response Call. It was uploaded yesterday, so check that out. And uh, yeah, please like up the video, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.